History of Sour Patch Kids Candy, A Sweet and Sour Journey I'm going to take you on a journey through the delightful world of Sour Patch Kids, those small, soft, colorful candies that have become a beloved treat across the globe. This story is not just about a candy, but about innovation, global trends, and the evolution of taste preferences in the candy industry. By the end of this, I hope you'll gain a deeper appreciation for what goes into something as simple and fun as Sour Patch Kids. The Origins of Sour Patch Kids, A Global Evolution The story of Sour Patch Kids begins in the 1970s. However, to understand their creation, we need to look at a larger trend that was sweeping across the confectionery world during this time. Sour candies were gaining popularity, with many brands experimenting with tart and tangy flavors. This shift was due in part to consumers' growing interest in new taste experiences beyond the traditional sweet flavor that dominated candies for decades. The origin of Sour Patch Kids can be traced back to a Canadian candy maker named Frank Galatoli, who founded a candy company called Jarrett International. Galatoli was inspired by the growing popularity of sour treats in the 1970s, particularly in Europe, where sour candies were becoming increasingly popular. He wanted to create a candy that would offer a unique combination of sour and sweet, something that would appeal to both children and adults. In 1977, Galatoli developed a candy he initially called, Mars Men, in keeping with the space craze of the time, sparked by space exploration and science fiction. These candies were shaped like little aliens and had a similar formula to what we know today as Sour Patch Kids. However, the name didn't quite capture the attention it needed, and the flavor profile, while sour and sweet, had yet to undergo some tweaking before it could become the international sensation we know today. Rebranding as Sour Patch Kids, a strategic move. As the 1980s approached, a cultural phenomenon swept the world, Cabbage Patch Kids dolls. These dolls were massively popular with children, becoming a hot toy trend in the 80s. Sensing an opportunity, Jared International decided to rebrand their candy. In 1985, Mars Men was relaunched with a new look and a new name, Sour Patch Kids. The little alien shapes were swapped out for childlike, gumdrop-shaped characters with a mischievous, playful vibe. The rebranding was a stroke of marketing genius. Aligning the product with the pop culture sensation of Cabbage Patch Kids helped drive initial popularity, especially among younger consumers. The product hit store shelves in the United States under the name Sour Patch Kids, and it quickly caught on. The fun shapes, bright colors, and unique combination of sour and sweet flavors made it a hit. Flavor Evolution What makes Sour Patch Kids unique? What truly makes Sour Patch Kids distinct is the candy's signature dual-flavor experience. Each piece is covered in a layer of sour sugar crystals, giving the initial sharp, puckering sensation when you pop it in your mouth. But underneath that layer lies a chewy candy that is incredibly sweet, creating a roller coaster of flavor as the sourness fades into sweetness. This, sour, then sweet, contrast became the core of Sour Patch Kids' identity and appeal. The original Sour Patch Kids came in four basic flavors, lemon, yellow, lime, green, orange, orange, and cherry, red. However, over the years, the brand expanded its flavor offerings to keep up with changing tastes and demand for variety. In the early 2000s, blue raspberry was added, becoming one of the most popular flavors. Additional limited edition and special flavors, such as tropical, watermelon, and peach, have also been introduced to maintain consumer interest and excitement, international expansion and ownership changes. While Sour Patch Kids started in North America, their popularity soon spread worldwide. In the 1990s, Sour Patch Kids gained traction outside of the US and Canada, becoming a staple in European and Australian candy markets. Today, the candy is sold in over 40 countries and has become one of the best-selling sour candies globally. Throughout the years, ownership of Sour Patch Kids has changed hands, which is common in the candy industry. In 1985, the same year Sour Patch Kids were rebranded, Jared International was sold to Cadbury Schweppes, a major player in the food and beverage market. Cadbury Schweppes merged with the well-known confectionery company, Adams, solidifying its place in the candy industry. Eventually, Cadbury Schweppes candy division, which included Sour Patch Kids, was sold to Kraft Foods. 
Kraft then spun off its snack and candy business into a new company called Mondelez International in 2012, which currently owns the Sour Patch Kids brand. Cultural Impact and Advertising Campaigns Part of Sour Patch Kids' enduring success comes from its clever and engaging advertising campaigns. The brand's tagline, Sour, Sweet, Gone, perfectly captures the candy's unique flavor progression, and over the years, this phrase has been used in numerous marketing campaigns. Sour Patch Kids has leaned into the mischievous side of its branding, often depicting the candies as little troublemakers in TV commercials and digital ads. One particularly memorable campaign featured the tagline, first they're sour, then they're sweet, showing animated Sour Patch Kids causing playful chaos before turning kind and sweet. This mischievous imagery appealed to children and teenagers, who found the candy's personality just as fun as its taste. As social media became a dominant marketing platform, Sour Patch Kids embraced platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok to connect with younger audiences. Their playful and sometimes irreverent content has helped keep the brand relevant in the digital age. In addition to advertising, Sour Patch Kids has also made a significant mark in popular culture. For instance, Sour Patch Kids has been referenced in songs, movies, and television shows, solidifying its place as a cultural icon. Some famous collaborations include limited edition cereals, ice creams, and even beverages like the Sour Patch Kids flavored Slurpee from 7-Eleven. Sour Patch Kids in the Modern Age, a candy empire. In recent years, Sour Patch Kids has expanded beyond just candy. Today, you can find Sour Patch Kids flavored products in various forms, including ice cream, gum, and soda. The brand even launched a cereal in partnership with post-consumer brands, bringing the signature sour then sweet taste to breakfast tables. Sour Patch Kids continues to innovate with new flavors, shapes, and packaging. They've released larger sized Sour Patch Kids, as well as a variety of spin-off products like Sour Patch Kids Heads, which feature two flavors in one candy. Limited edition releases, such as holiday-themed versions of the candy, keep fans coming back for more. In addition, Sour Patch Kids has embraced the growing demand for healthier candy options by offering versions of the candy made with natural flavors and colors. This move reflects the broader trend in the confectionery industry toward more health-conscious offerings, as consumers today are more mindful of what they eat, even when it comes to indulgences like candy. The Sweet and Sour Legacy So, where does this leave us today? What began as a simple sour candy in the 1970s has grown into a global candy empire. Sour Patch Kids continues to evolve, adapting to the ever-changing tastes of Consumers while staying true to its core identity, a fun, flavorful candy that's both sour and sweet. Whether it's through clever marketing campaigns, new product innovations, or simply the joy of experiencing that initial sour punch followed by a wave of sweetness, Sour Patch Kids has earned its place in the pantheon of iconic candies. Its success is a testament to the power of combining creativity with changing consumer preferences, resulting in a product that transcends generations and cultures. The next time you reach for a Sour Patch Kid, take a moment to appreciate the history behind it. You're not just enjoying a candy, you're experiencing decades of flavor innovation, cultural influence, and marketing brilliance, all wrapped up in one tiny, sour then sweet bite.